This land is 900 square meters. I have uh, moringa, I have mangoes, I have popo, I have plantain in this small land. I have about 50 trees of moringa. This moringa, I planted them for to supply seeds and to uh, process the leaves so that people can drink as tea. And the trees, if you look at, I have leaves some tall. These tall ones are for the production of seeds. Uh, you eat the seeds, it treats diabetes. I planted them here so that they can help people, they can fertilize the soil. Because Moringa has two capacity. It, it is a, a treatment, it's, a, it's medicinal, it fertilizes the soil. Luciana, I planted Luciana for the fertilization of the soil. If you can see this base here, this maize is natural, it's organic maize. There is no, no fertilizer has been used in it. You can see the maize, they are doing very well, depending on the fertilization of the soil by the, the trees that is planted there. When I was young, going to the primary school, when going down to, to town, I passed through where these forestry people were there, they opened their nursery, that's where I stand and told them what they were doing. And then around 1966, I do my own nurse things, and also when I go and start knitting, I do it, harvest it, come and sow and plant them. I grow, uh, Pronos Africanan, and then Grivera Robusta, Calendra, Potocarpus, uh, Calistamon, Cypress, we have Mahogany, yes, we have Mahogany, and then we have the timber, some of the timber trees, because they are not all doing uh, well here. In the whole village, by I mean that one year, now I'm the one that taught everyone that is doing nursery in this by I mean that one. It's almost 40, 50, 50 years, 40 to 50. My name is Fobite uh, Zekios. I'm a farmer in Molede village. I have been working here more than 30 years. In this valley, we grow Irish potato, cabbages, leeks, beans. We also keep bees. We keep pigs. We also keep pigs inside here. So at the time we saw the problem of water shortage, so we decided to build a tank. So in that tank we can uh, take pipe, we connect pipe from a small spring, which is far, to that tank. And without doing that, uh, the water cannot supply us, because if you just take the uh, few pipe from the catchment, it will not bring you much water. As we build this tank, we have enough water in the dry season. In the rain season we don't use water. We just walk across like that. So when I built that tank, I saw a difference. 
the change compared to the first time we are not using the tank. It has changed. Because oh, as we are seeing this valley, I will still use this water, this water to this sprinkler will water the cold down. When this one will be matured, I will transfer this pipe down. They will help me down in the valley. And without the tank, I cannot succeed.